serious lack of control to buy a bag, never use it and sell it a few weeks later. And yeah, you're, that's right. You're right, absolutely. Hello right. there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today in this video. Let's talk about why I will no longer be buying luxury or designer handbags and what has happened to bring us to this point. You may have watched my channel recently and over the last while I have put out a video talking about my toxic shopping addiction. I've put out a video talking about the resale market and the impact that luxury YouTube and reselling has on the resale market. I've put out a video talking about bags that I have been obsessed with that have come up on the resale market that are normally very hard to find and how I got into a bit of a frenzy wanting to buy those bags because they had become available. And I put out a vlog sale where I let go a number of bags and I showed them in that vlog sale and I talked to you in that vlog sale about why I was letting those bags go. On that vlog sale, I received a number of comments, a lot of comments talking about the bags and excited to see what was coming next because I shared with you on the vlog sale that bags had to come in and there were bags that had to go for what came in. But I also received a number of comments like this one. And I'm gonna read this comment to you and I'll put it on screen. We all aren't normal when it comes to bags. It is hard to expect rational decision-making. We all are struggling with some sort of addiction and are guilty of impulse purchases. Who am I to judge? However, watching this video made me uncomfortable. A serious lack of control to buy a bag, never use it and sell it just a few weeks later. My thought was, Aren't these new bags that you're about to buy and unbox soon going to end up in the same sad way? Never used, sitting on shelves for a while and eventually being sold in pristine condition. Shouldn't this video be a lesson for you and the rest of us? Or were they just as video content sold without a loss due to a recent price increase and it's only presented as a hard decision you were forced to make? I hope not. If this is a genuine struggle, I'm sending hugs and wish you strength to overcome your weaknesses. And that was one of the comments that basically summed up a number of the comments that were made on that video, talking about a lack of control and concerning shopping habits, which led to the vlog sale. And specifically in the vlog sale, what was mentioned by people making these comments was the green Fendi mini baguette. The green mini Fendi baguette was a bag that I had unboxed on this channel only about three or four videos before the vlog sale. I had bought the Fendi baguette maybe about four to five weeks before the video went live, but certainly I had not had it for a very long time. I was outside the period of time to return it. It was brand new and only in here for a number of weeks before I sold it on the vlog sale. So when I received comments like this and I sat and actually considered what the comment said, the truth was I agree. I agree with what this person said. I agree with how this made them feel uncomfortable. I agree with such a lack of control to buy a bag at these prices to not use it and to turn around and sell it only a couple of weeks later. And I don't think I realised it whenever I was filming the vlog sale or filming even those other videos. But after the vlog sale, when I read the comments, it kind of hit me that something needed to change and something needed to pause because I had got caught in a frenzy and I had got completely caught up in a buying frenzy and in a, I don't even want to say a hype because it's not as if the bags that I've been buying were overly hyped bags but I had got caught up in this franticness this feeling of frenzy and shopping and buying and buying the next thing and looking at the next thing and constantly looking at bags and I know that I need to take a step back to stop that. And I think the bag that led really to this comment was also the bag that made me reflect on these comments and think this just isn't right. And I don't want to say normal because everybody's 
shopping habits and what's normal for me won't be what's normal for you and everybody's position is different and I did talk about this on the video talking about my shopping addiction and saying is it toxic I love it I will always shop is it an addiction but I do it because it brings me joy but I think over the last number of months leading up to that vlog sale it probably had become a bit of an addiction and I probably was very caught up in it and when I bought and bought and bought it then hit me what I had bought and bought and bought and what was sitting in this room and what I hadn't even opened yet and what bags were all around me and whenever they came I then looked at the bags and that's what led to the vlog seal but the Fendi bag really did make me think on that when I sat back and considered whenever I read these comments that if I was able to go in and buy a bag at that price with so little thought and I am not saying that all impulsive bags have been bad for me most of them are fabulous and they're some of my favorite bags but when I have bought impulsively I generally have been going to buy. I've been going shopping to the stores to look for a bag that I fall in love with to buy. And then it's an impulsive purchase as to which specific bag it is, but the going shopping is planned. The Fendi baguette was completely and utterly unplanned in every regard. I was not looking at the Fendi baguette in this colour. I was not looking at a Fendi baguette at this stage. I was not looking on that day to go shopping for a bag. I went into flannels, I went in after work and I looked around having no intention to buy. I then saw the Fendi baguette and I fell in love with the colour. It's a bright colour, I'm like a magpie, I'm attracted to bright colours. I saw the green and I absolutely loved it. And when I saw it, tried it on, strutted around the shop, loved the gold chain, I'm buying this. With very, very little thought, with very huge amount of impulsivity and as this commenter has said with a complete and utter lack of self-control I didn't even really think about it and if I have got to the point that I am buying bags that cost this amount of money without even really thinking about it something has to change the brakes have to be pumped and I have to step back and take a moment to think about where my spending and shopping habit has got to because that's not how I buy these bags. That's not how I think it's safe to buy these bags. To have bought a bag without even really considering it is not how I like to spend this sort of money. I am normally somebody who is very, very organized with finances and don't get me wrong, that bag was still bought out of the account that I set aside for finances, but I didn't even think about it. I knew when I bought that bag that I was going to Dublin shopping with the sole intention of going shopping. And you may have watched the Dublin vlog. I knew that was happening. And I knew I was going to Milan shopping. Well, Milan was for my husband's birthday, but I knew that we would do some shopping while we were there. And I love to shop when I'm abroad because it reminds me of the place that we have been. I knew they were coming up and I still, without any self-control, as this person has said, bought that bag. Didn't even really think about it. Just bought it. And loved the colour, loved the bag, nothing about the bag. But just bought it without thinking about what was coming. And brought it home. That was fine. Hadn't unboxed it yet. Maybe that should have been a sign. And then I had the Dublin trip. I had another bag that I had been waiting on and we had Milan. And I knew all of those things were happening. I went to Dublin. I bought a bag in Dublin. I bought another thing in Dublin. I had another thing ordered. And then whenever I looked at everything that had come in and this frenzied period of time I'd had with shopping, I kind of thought, what are, what's going on? What have you done? This is a lot. This is a lot in a short period of time. You have a lot of bags sitting around you. It's not that long ago you bought this Chanel Raffia. You bought this colour block. Now use those bags. But it's still, it's not that long ago they came. So what is going on? And when I was then doing the vlog sale, and I don't think I got to this point of realisation when I was filming the vlog sale, 
But when I was doing the vlog sale, I was pulling out the bags to let go and there was the Gabrielle, there was the Chanel coral bag with the chain, which I think is the only bag that's still available. That was one I had bought two years ago for my birthday, hadn't used at all. And there was also the loop bag and you may have seen my review talking about that. So I was pulling those together and Rod, who is from the Lux Theory, facilitated the vlog sale. He knew there was bags that were going and he said to me, I know that you've just bought those new bags. I know that you're letting bags go. There is somebody specifically looking for that green Fendi baguette. How attached to it are you? Would you consider letting that go as well? And when he said that and we were talking about the vlog sale, I said, yes, I'll put it in the sale. That can go. And for me to have bought that bag at that price a number of weeks later, never used it, still had all its foam on it and its plastic on it, to say to Rod, then yeah, let's sell it to you and include it there's something wrong with that and that is what I think is being picked up in this comment and it's what led the person to say this makes me feel a bit uncomfortable serious lack of control to buy a bag never use it and sell it a few weeks later and yeah you're, that's right you're right absolutely right and that is what after the vlog sale and these comments got me to that realization that that is a serious lack of control but it's also caught up completely in a shopping frenzy and I have said I am a seasonal lover I love bags that get released there were a lot of things released in the first half of the year that I absolutely loved and I did get caught up in it and I did get into that kind of frenzy and I did want to bring them back and I have the Dublin bag to show you very shortly. I have filmed that unboxing. There is another two over here. So there are still going to be unboxings coming. For full disclosure, at the time of filming this, there's three still to unbox. So you will see three unboxings coming even though I'm telling you that I'm not buying designer bags or luxury bags, those are what's already here and what led to the vlog sale. After that, I will be taking a break from buying bags because that Fendi baguette was a lesson and this person was completely right where they said this should be a lesson to you and the rest of us, absolutely. And it was a lesson to me that I had been buying without thought, so frantically and caught up in it. And then the bags that came in, I adore these bags. I loved the Fendi, but I adore these bags. These bags are 110% what I want to add to my collection. If somebody said to me now, would you let one of these go? Because you're doing a vlog sale, no, I wouldn't. And that's how these bags have to feel. Not just like, oh, I've bought, okay, I could let that go. And that's, that's uncomfortable for me. As it was uncomfortable for the viewer, it's uncomfortable for me to have got to the point that they're being cycled like that, that green one being the perfect example. And there was more than one comment on this because it was obviously obvious to you guys before it was to me that there's something not right about that. You don't buy bags, never use them, just sell them on. There's there's something, and that's not how I shop. So I am taking a break. I will not, not from YouTube. I'll still be here chatting to you. And there are still three bags that you will see, but I will not be buying any more luxury designer handbags for a while. What I will be doing is showing you the ones that have to come and enjoying what's here. Look around this room. I do not need to buy any more luxury bags for a while and it's never about need. We never need them but I have bought these which are stunning and what I have around me I don't need anymore at the minute. I need to stop. I need to pause. I need to take a break and this is why I will not be buying any more luxury designer handbags for a while. Now, I am due to go to London in September, which I'm hugely excited about to meet a lot of fabulous people that you will know from YouTube. Deals coming over from London or from Australia, Meredith's coming, and there's a lot of other people that are local coming to meet in London, and I'm very excited about that. I know when I'm in London, I will be in the stores and I will be in the shops. It's my intention not to buy a bag at that time. Let's see how that goes. I'm filming this in July. I have pre-ordered a bag that's due in November. My intention until the new year is not to buy any other bags. So I have the one coming in November. Hopefully it comes, sometimes they don't. And Let's see what happens in September, but my intention is not to buy any more bags. It is to use and enjoy what's here and not to keep that lack of control frenzied 
on that merry-go-round of buying and that's where I'm at and that's why I won't be buying any more designer luxury handbags for a while. Let's have a chat about some of the other parts of this comment. I want to address the question of was the bag bought and sold just for video content? Sold without a loss due to a recent price increase and only presented as a hard decision that you were forced to make. I hope it wasn't. I can tell you now it wasn't. I do not buy bags for content. I do not sell bags for content. I don't buy and sell. The Fendi baguette, the green version, was an exception for buying something so quickly and then selling it. I did love it and I was very excited when I unboxed it because I loved the colour. But I bought what's over here was expensive and things had to go, hence the vlog sale. And then when Rod discussed that one with me, it made sense for me at that time because I felt I'd overspent and overbought. So it made sense for me at that time to let that one go as well. And I think that that's something that was a lesson that I have to learn from, but it certainly wasn't a bag that was bought and unboxed and then sold for content. That's not what I do. The vast majority of my bags are around me for quite some time. I love and enjoy them and generally don't sell them, but that's that's where that came from and I just wanted to address that. I also wanted to address, are these new bags going to be bought and unboxed and end up the same way? Well, that is not what I want and that is why I am taking this break from buying new bags because I don't want, th these bags are spectacular. I do not want these bags or any of the bags that are sitting around me to be just sitting here gathering dust while I buy more. It, it makes no sense, it, it's madness. It's not what I want to do. So what I want to do over this next while is use and enjoy what's here. And I have been coming up and shopping my closet more in that I've been looking, not just wearing the same bag each day, I've been changing a lot. I've been really enjoying using and wearing more what I have. And that's what I want to do over the next while to make sure that they're not just being unboxed and sitting here and gathering dust, that they're getting used and I'm loving and enjoying them. And that way I can reconcile what they cost. And that is a big part of the reason why I'm not buying any more bags for the foreseeable future. Also, there will always be certain bags that are used more than others. That's just the nature of bags. And some of them are a lot more easy to use and some of them are grab and go and some of them are daytime. And I have two young children and four dogs. There's some of these bags that don't get the option to be used that often. That is okay because I know in myself, if the bags that are around me aren't getting that much use for that reason, or if I know that I've bought them, left them, not really totally drawn to them, and that's what led to the vlog sale. Those are the ones that were sold on that I just wasn't drawn to use and I didn't really feel a real connection to. So I just wanted to clarify that as well. I hope this has given you some insight into the videos that I've made recently about the shopping. Maybe I knew that something in my subconscious was telling me you need to have a look at this when I made the shopping addiction video. When I made the vlog sale, then the comments in it. And thank you for those comments because they force me to reflect on my own behaviours. And I've said this in other videos whenever I have made videos responding to comments and sometimes difficult comments. It's a good thing to be forced to reflect on your own behaviour, I think. And I, I welcome that and I thank you for those comments. And I think it's been very, very helpful. And it's made me reflect on what's been going on with my frenzied shopping. And I felt it. I felt the frenzy. I felt the need to shop, the, the need to look and it just needs to calm for a while. I put out a video recently on how not to let the designer brands keep you pure and I'm following the tips in that. I'm stepping back and just finding my zen again for a little while. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope it has given you some insight and been informative. If it has at all, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and if you would consider subscribing. I would love it if you would stick around for some more videos. If you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another one for you on the screen to enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. If you have any comment to make on this, please feel free to come into the comment box and make it. I do not act badly to difficult comments. I welcome them. So thank you for that and come in and make those comments. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.